Is it better to take shorter breaks or longer breaks between your sets if you're trying to build more muscle? What about for fat loss? Is it better to move between your sets at a faster pace or do you wanna take your time and fully recover before moving on to your next set? Well, in today's video, I'll be going over exactly how much rest you should take between sets in order to achieve the results that you're after, whether that be building muscle or burning fat and I'll give you the ideal rest times to do it in the most efficient way possible. I'll go over both the pros and the cons of each rest interval, and I'll back it all up with scientific evidence to help you decide which is best for you and your goals. Now, even though you can technically set up any length of time for your rest interval between sets, I wanna compare a short interval, which is anything under 60 seconds of rest, to a moderate interval, which would be anything between one to two minute breaks between sets, and finally compare all of that to a longer interval, which would be anything between three to five minutes of rest. Let's start by first taking a closer look at shorter intervals of 60 seconds or less. The biggest benefit you'll experience when taking shorter breaks is within the realm of endurance. When you near the end of your sets, your muscles will begin to feel the onset of fatigue. That tiresome burning feeling in your muscles is caused primarily by the buildup of lactic acids, and these lactic acids happen to be the major cause of fatigue, especially in activities that require endurance. By training with higher reps with less break time, your body becomes more efficient at clearing out lactic acids from the muscles by boosting your body's hormonal and vascular systems. Shorter intervals of rest, 20 to 60 seconds long, will allow you to become more fatigue resistant for longer lengths of time and it'll yield the most beneficial improvements in your cardiovascular system, and it'll allow you to burn more calories during the workout than you would if you were taking longer breaks due to a constantly elevated heart rate. However, the downside of these shorter rest times is that you won't be fully recovered for your next set causing you to lift less weight than you would be able to lift if you took a longer break. This isn't only because of lactic acid production, but it's also due to your ATP and PC energy systems. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate and PC stands for phosphocreatine. And just to make things super simple for you, what you have to know is that these energy systems provide immediate energy and they're largely responsible for providing energy during the first 20 to 30 seconds of almost any activity. A lot of your strength and power comes comes from these two energy systems. And according to the National Academy of Sports and Medicine, after 20 to 30 seconds of rest time, it'll allow you to recover approximately 50% of your ATP and PC. Then at 40 seconds, you'll have recovered about 75%. At 60 seconds, you'll have recovered about 85 to 90%. And at three minutes, you should be fully recovered approximately 100%. Now, if you happen to be a natural lifter trying to build muscle mass, you should try to lift heavier weights whenever you can to help stimulate more protein synthesis so you could ultimately build more muscle. Some experts say that you should aim for breaks that are under 60 seconds long to build more muscle. This is due to a 2009 meta-analysis of a couple studies that showed that greater growth hormone was released from shorter rest times of 30 to 60 seconds. However, later studies, one of which was conducted in 2015, showed that a longer rest time of three minutes led to more strength and size gains than one minute. Regardless of the conflicting results, many experts still recommend a shorter rest time for building muscle and they want you to aim for about a one-to-one -one rest to work ratio for hypertrophy. So that would mean that if you spent 45 seconds doing your set, you would take a 45 second break before doing another set. However, since muscular strength is tied so closely to muscular growth for natural lifters, a longer rest interval of one to two minutes between sets may be much better for muscle growth. The slightly longer rest time will allow for sets that are higher in intensity without allowing the muscles that are being targeted to fully recover, which can lead to greater muscle motor unit recruitment and a greater pump. This means that taking a one to two minute break could be beneficial for building more muscle and while still getting some benefits in the area of endurance. Now, let's take a look at a much longer break time, somewhere between three to five minutes. A longer break time like this allows for full recovery, allowing you to produce the greatest muscular force for each set. This leads to the greatest absolute strength and power gains from your training session. Research also shows that when this longer rest interval is combined with heavy weight loads, it appears to produce greater testosterone levels, especially with exercises incorporating larger muscle groups, such as the squat and the deadlift. 
Having a higher natural testosterone level by lifting heavier weight loads can definitely help you build more muscle. But the main benefit of this rest interval when coupled with a higher weight and less reps lies in the area of strength and power. Now, what if we select a rest time that's a little less than three minutes, let's say two to three minute breaks. With this kind of rest interval, we'll be losing out on the endurance benefits that shorter rest times under two minutes will provide. But we will get a little more of a mix of hypertrophy benefits with strength training benefits. So to sum all this up, we can say that a rest interval of under 60 seconds is great for increasing endurance and burning more calories during your workout. Resting one to two minutes is ideal for building more muscle as well as getting some endurance benefits. Two to three minutes is ideal for building more muscle and strength. And three to five minutes is ideal for pure strength and power purposes. So you should just pick the rest time that matches your goals, right? Well, not exactly. Let me explain. By spending time working within the shorter rest intervals of less than 60 second breaks, you'll improve the speed at which your body can efficiently clear out lactic acid. This can help you squeeze out a couple extra reps when you work within a rest interval of one to two minutes or two to three minutes. And maybe it'll even help you squeeze out one extra rep at three to five minute break with a heavy weight. The benefits of adapting to a shorter rest time transfer over to all the other intervals. You can see the same thing in reverse. If you were to spend time working within the three to five minute rest interval and you were to increase your overall strength and power, that would mean that your body would adapt to lifting a heavier weight load. This increase in muscular strength would transfer over and it would allow you to lift a heavier weight load for all the other rest times as well. Since the unique benefits of each of the rest intervals will transfer over to the other intervals, it is optimal to switch up your rest intervals just like you switch up your rep ranges with periodization. You can spend a period of four weeks taking shorter breaks with a lighter weight and working in a higher rep range like 12 to 20 reps. Then for the next four weeks, taking moderate breaks with a moderate weight load and a moderate rep range of six to 12 reps. And then four weeks with longer breaks and a low rep range of three to four reps. Mixing it up can help you progressively overload your muscles while hitting less plateaus over time. If you don't wanna mix it up and you just wanna pick the rest time that produces the most muscle growth, you should at least make sure that your breaks are greater than one minute long because there was another meta-analysis done in 2017 that compared six different studies and it concluded that a rest time of over 60 seconds produced slightly higher muscle gains because it allows you to lift at a higher total volume per workout. This is why between all the rest times, if my goal was muscle growth and I had to choose one, I would go with the one to two minute breaks being the ideal break time for maximal muscle growth. Now, the very last thing that I should mention is that according to research, multi-joint compound exercises using larger muscle groups like the back and legs tend to produce greater results when you take longer breaks around two to three minutes. Meanwhile, with isolation exercises targeting muscles like the biceps, triceps, and shoulders, shorter breaks lasting 45 to 90 seconds may be more ideal for growth. So to give you the bottom line and simplify everything that I just talked about in this whole video, the ideal rest time for muscle growth is one to three minutes with more break time given to big compound lifts like squats and deadlifts and less break time for isolation exercises like bicep curls and tricep extensions. With that in mind, you also wanna incorporate periods with shorter rest times to increase your lactate threshold and incorporate periods of longer rest times to increase your strength and power because the benefits you get from each of these will transfer across. So that pretty much sums it up for muscle growth. If your goal is to simply burn the most amount of calories from your workouts, stick to circuit training in which you take shorter breaks no longer than 60 seconds, and for maximal strength, you wanna aim for closer to five minute breaks, while keeping in mind that taking a break longer than seven minutes will lead to muscle cool down, less neuromuscular efficiency, and an obvious increase in the risk of injury. That's it guys, I know I just gave you a whole lot of information, but I really hope this video has helped you out. If it did, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more free content just like this to help you build more muscle and burn fat in the most efficient ways possible. Also, for those of you that are looking for a done-for-you program that'll help you burn fat and build muscle faster than ever, visit my website where we're running challenges designed to help you build muscle or burn fat in only six weeks. 
and you get a workout plan, a custom diet plan, as well as an accountability coach to help mentor and guide you through the entire process. This takes all the guesswork out and helps you hit your goals a lot faster without any of the grueling trial and error that just wastes your time. To find out more about our six-week challenge, you can click the link somewhere around here, or you could visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.